हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू ई कॉमर्स प्रोजेक्ट इन लाराबल टेन लास्ट वीडियो वी यू डिस्कस लाइक अ अपडेट कार्ड सपोज वॉट एवर क्वान्टिटी यू आर एड इयर आफ्टर यू क्लिक ऑन द अपडेट कार्ड सो वी आर अपडेटिंग द कार्ड आइटम्स मीन्स क्वान्टिटी वी आर अपडेटिंग ऑल्सो ऑटोमेटिक चेंज द प्राइस सो इन दिस वीडियो वी कैन कंटिन्यू लाइक अ चेकआउट पेज एज अ प्रोसेस टू चेकआउट वंस यू क्लिक सो वी इन टू शो लाइक दिस पेज आई हेव ऑलरेडी ओपन माई मोला थीम्स सो इन साइड यू कैन चेक लाइक अ चेकआउट पेज Let me show you. Like this is the our theme template, and here you can check like a checkout dot html. So this is the themes inside. You can see it like a checkout page. Okay. So we can start to dynamic for these themes. Means that this is the page. So just to click on the like checkout means a process to checkout. So we need to create another page like a checkout. And after we need to show it like these themes. And here is a coupon code. So we need to remove here coupon code. We always need to use here. And also. Automatic we need to show like a shipping, like whatever you can choose here shipping, we need to remove here and we can move to here because always all calculation available in this page and here you can see it like a cart item, also you can see in like a checkout page. So today I will explain all thing how we can implement inside a checkout like a cart item data like this data, also we need to implement here. So everything I will explain. I have one request you are new in this channel or in this series. So please press the subscribe button and please press the bell icon. So whatever content we are uploading, so you always get the notification and you can start immediately new thing learning. And also, I, you have buy anything about the script we have discussed inside a YouTube channel. So you can just go to AirSolutionCode.com, just open the script menu and you can buy it. And do you want to develop any private coding? So just contact like a freelancing coding, contact Telegram, WhatsApp, or Skype. But we are always prefer like a Skype. Okay, means Skype. So let's start now. So just I click here, so you can see it like a checkout dot HTML file. So just you can remove the checkout dot HTML, and we just create a like a checkout. Just go to resources, views, and inside you can go to like payment, card dot blade dot PHP. It's very simple, very easy, not anything difficult. Okay, let's make some zoom out so you can see it like proper way. Let's scroll down so you can see it here. Where to check out? Proceed to check out. You can see it here. Just you can create a new routes like a check out <coughs> URL. Check out. Okay, same thing we can do it inside a header. Like a header inside also there is a check out button. So just copy this line. Means this is the URL. And go to layouts inside. You can go to like added dot blade dot php and scroll down so you can see it also like a checkout buttons. I see. I know about that. Okay, here we have already done. Okay, so let's copy this name. Just go to routes inside. Go to web dot php and just scroll down so you can see it like a cart. A cart deletes, cart updates. You can see it everything here. So let's create another one like a checkout. Simple. You can copy like a cart one and you can put here. Okay. Now let's go to payment controller. So app HTTP controller inside. You can go to payment controller, and here their card. So let's put above. And just copy bottom one, and you can paste here. And here you can put like a checkout, and also you can change the like my title checkout. Also here you can change the name. So we can create a new views inside a payments folder. Like a checkout dot blade dot php. Okay, so what I did first, I will create a URL. After I did inside one function like payment control in the checkout. And after we have created one folder inside a new files. So it's very simple, very easy, no any difficulty. Just go to checkout means card dot blade dot php files. Just copy all thing. And close other thing we don't need anymore now, and you can paste here, okay. And after go to back again, and just remove the dot HTML and refresh the page so you can see it like a same as a cart page here. So now what we can do, we need to do like a same this page inside here. So let's open our HTML here. So simple, just open your Mola themes inside. You can see it like a checkout dot HTML file. You can copy means the drag and drop your Editors. After just go to like a up, and you can find out like a main class main. It's very simple, very easy. 
just you can search like this so you can see it here just minimize all the code and you can copy okay just go check out again and you can remove all thing again and you can put here this is very simple very easy one minute I have one error about this one just close it and we can continue so let's save these files and just go back so refresh the page means so you can see it here checkout page available you see whatever content here there this content we can show here so now in this video we can cover like a, this one cover means we can make it this one dynamics okay so let's go to cart page so just go up so here their name just scroll down so here we don't want to need any just scroll down scroll down scroll down scroll down so here you can see it like TRTD our product subtotal there so just open the like a cart page and you can copy like all line about the cart and you can put here like let's close like a checkout blade.php and here you can make like an and for each okay let's go back again and we can need a product so just copy same things and you can put here it's very simple very easy no any difficulty okay and also you can put like a slugs like a win to redirect these pages so you can see it like a links you can put here I get products also you can provide like a titles okay we already like we can make like own variable wise and here is already there get single function so because I am going to product model so you can see it like get single so already there okay just copy and we can put here titles TIT okay so let's go back again we can refresh the page so we can check any errors there not there so you can see two product found is working very well and let's remove the last product and subtotal you can leave it just go to again cart.blade.php and you can copy this price and uh, you can copy this quantity works like this one because we need to concat about quantity so just you can put here okay like a price into quantity so you can find out like a whatever final total there suppose you are buying two quantity so you can see it like 200 1 1 10 16 next one is subtotal so subtotal inside we need to write same thing whatever did inside a cart so just go to ups uh, and scroll down you can see it like subtotal just copy all thing and you can put here where is the very simple very easy I think you are develop own way so also possible so these files just go back again so you can see it like a 170 like a, this is the sums okay now here is a free shipping there otherwise we need to make dynamic so we can show suppose I am going to cart page view cart so you can see it here like this you can see it like a shipping charge but we need to remove here and we also need to remove this coupon code we need to copy and put here so look like show professional this is the reason and here we can do it like a paypal cash on delivery and stripe no need to like other payment gateway so let's remove other payment gateway also like direct payment we don't need okay like a cash on delivery you can leave it only and we don't want to check payment we don't want to do so just cash on delivery and uh, stripe and paypal so it's very simple whatever do you want to like you can choose okay this is the, your decisions i like it three points so i'll leave it and here is there is a what is the paypal but everybody know about paypal so i don't want to explain now you can see it like uh, also we can make like here totals just go up and if we can put here same thing here is a win to develop like a free shipping charge we need to develop first admin side after we can show but let's leave it right now free shipping here okay so let's go back again refresh the page so you can see it proper way your order details let's go to cart.blade.php and we can remove like a shipping charge we don't need here we don't want to need here like coupon codes so let's go back again and just scroll down mm, here is the shipping so just remove and also you can remove the like a free shippings standard shipping 
like this you can remove like express once you can implement after we can work but like now you can remove so you just you can shoot like subtotal and final totals okay on also this the coupon codes we can remove here and uh, just copy here this is the thing you can copy like this discount code here there let's copy all things so let's see how it's look show here okay so let's leave it remove and you can leave it directly now you need to go to like a payment I mean checkout.blade.php so here is the subtotals like uh, I go to checkout page again so you can there like subtotal subtotal inside here I can make like coupon code I know here there but it is not good idea here always there here so you can apply so simple you can make like another one here tr inside you can put like a td and just put this is the code we have copy this code okay let's go back again refresh the page so we can check it's working not working so taking time yes it's working very well but we need to make like a bigger so just you can make like call span 100 call span 2 because this div and another div so we can make like a 2 okay so let's save these files and just remove the like a annoying things we don't want to use means the comments so look like professional this is the reason no any reasons here your div so let's boot here okay i think it's good now let's save these files just go back again refresh the page so you can see it now you see that like coupon code so do your coupon code so you can add and this coupon code i need to remove i don't want to need because we already add here so just go up and you can remove it it's very simple very easy no any difficulty okay so let's remove you can see now you can open the spec element and you can check why is the bigger just you can make small heights no any things else like heights you can make like a 20 px whatever side do you want to need like this you can put i think 38 is good just copy and you can put here okay let's scroll down <coughs> and here there is there is the where is the where is the okay here is the button so you can put here okay let's go back again refresh the page now is a shipping okay shipping charge we can make first i know shipping charge always include after no shipping charge always extra we need to apply coupon code inside like whatever amount here there inside apply and after we need to plus shipping charge because shipping charge is not plus about the subtotals so let's make it another one here like a subtotal so you can put here another things like a discount okay and here right now we are not implement so just make it zero zero okay let's go back again refresh the page so you can see it here so like a discount but we don't want to make like a highlight same like this the shipping there like this you can make because okay, so just remove this class like a summary totals whatever class there so just go back again refresh the page so you can see like discount zero dollar suppose you can apply like a ten dollar so automatic showing the ten dollar here after plus shipping charge like 116 after you are showing like a total so whatever you are there so you need to pay so i think everything is correct so but do you have any questions so please comment means not comment i just show you like everything is correct so in this video i will explain how to set up like checkout page how you can do it like your orders and uh, we have like html setup in this video and also we are removing inside cut some part like a uh, shipping charge we are removed uh, like here there also coupon code we are removed but everything move inside a checkout page so next video we can do it like all form submit and we can go but before we can go we need to work like coupon code once admin create a coupon code like expiry date activation date and after you click on the buttons these buttons so we need to check inside database and we can check okay is applied not applied everything i will show you in next video so but do you want to like this video so please like and do you want to see like this video more so please subscribe our error solution and please press the bell icon so whatever content we are uploading so you always get the notification and thank you for watching error solutions